And we're starting off with Pakistan, where tensions are running high. The PTI chairman, former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan, is carrying out his freedom march towards the capital city of Islamabad, despite the government's ban on protest by the PTI. The ousted premier has now remained defiant. The capital city, which has been fortified, is bracing for a major political showdown and heated protests. Ahead of the march, Imran Khan posted a message for his supporters. Calling on the supporters to assemble at Wali Interchange, Khan has already started his rally and is in Khaibar Pakhtunkhwa, from where he will navigate a huge caravan to Islamabad. Imran Khan is prominently demanding fresh elections and with such large-scale demonstrations, Imran Khan is trying to build pressure on the Shahbaz Sharif government. The government, meanwhile, is stuck dealing with the economic and political crisis. Imran Khan has called upon his followers to defy the ban put in place by the Shahbaz Sharif government. Khan supporters have been taken to the streets. Hundreds of them, along with the PTI workers and leaders, have been heading towards Islamabad from different parts of the country. All roads leading to the capital Islamabad have been blocked. In their bid to reach Islamabad, Khan supporters attempted to force their way through the roadblocks in Lahore, but the police used tear shells to disperse the PTI protesters. Pakistani authorities used dozens of shipping containers and trucks to block the roads leading to Islamabad. The march has raised fears of clashes between the supporters of Imran Khan and the security forces. Crowds gathered in Peshawar as well. Both Lahore and Peshawar are some 200 to 400 kilometers away from the capital. Islamabad has been sealed ahead of the long march. Authorities have put up blockades at the roads leading to the important installations as well. Police and paramilitary troops have also been deployed. However, the Supreme Court directed the Islamabad Chief Commissioner to provide an alternate, alternate site to the PTI to hold its Freedom March. They have been asked to create a traffic plan for the protesters. The PMLN Vice President, Mariam Nawaz, meanwhile, tweeted images of weapons recovered by the Lahore police. The weapons are set to be recovered from vehicles of two PTI Lahore office bearers. Mariam Nawaz called it the ugly face of this so-called long march. Our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik getting us this report with the latest from Indus River Bridge in Khaibar Pakhtunkhwa. Take a look. I'm at the Indus River Bridge on the KP side and beyond this bridge another 8 kilometers is where the barricades are. Uh, where, where I'm standing, uh, there's traffic that's flowing in from the KP side. Uh, uh, if my camera person, Omar, can show you as well. Um, uh, there are scores of vehicles on the other side. We passed by Imran Khan's container as well. And now on the other side of the bridge, which goes towards Punjab, uh, that is uh, another eight kilometers beyond. There are barricades that have been put in, uh, put in place. Imran Khan has vowed that he will not be giving up. He's termed uh, the news of a possible agreement as fake news. And in fact, uh, what we what we understand is that uh, there uh, there is uh, uh, violence that has been reported in pickets around the country. Be that be in Lahore or be that be in the outskirts of uh, Islamabad in Faisalabad, uh, that's in Rawalpindi. Uh, mobile services have also been closed in that particular areas, uh, limited areas. Uh, Imran Khan has said that he will be marching on towards. Islamabad, there are barricades that have been in place. The Supreme Court uh, uh, case is currently ongoing as well. And the outcome of that case or the ruling from that case will actually be going forward and defining how and where this march will end and how this march will proceed. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.